Being owner of Husqvarna Auto Mower is about effortless and rewarding lawn mowing, where even the installation process has been optimized to simplify the preparations needed. This film will give you step-by-step -step guidance on how to install Auto Mower robotic lawn mower. We advise you to watch it in full before you start your installation to ensure you get the best possible experience with your robotic lawn mower. The installation principle is identical for many auto mower models, regardless of feature level. A robotic mower requires time for installation, however, this is a one-time effort that will give you a more or less maintenance-free lawn for many years. The chapters cover Prepare and unpack Husqvarna auto mower, Place the charging station Charge the battery Lay the boundary wire Lay the guide wire Connect the wires to the charging station. Customize and complete the installation. In the box you will find a ruler inserted in the cover of the box to help you lay the boundary wire with proper distance to various obstacles. A charging station that sends signals along the boundary and guide wires and charges the mower battery. On the rear side you will find all wire connections. A low voltage cable that connects the power supply with the charging station. Long ground screws that secure the charging station to the ground. A power supply that must be connected to an electrical outlet. Replacement Husqvarna endurance blades. And the robotic lawn mower. When you buy the Husqvarna auto mower, make sure you get Husqvarna auto mower installation kit suited for your size and complexity of lawn. The installation kit consists of boundary and guide wire, stakes to secure the wire to the ground, connectors for the charging station, couplers to connect, repair or extend the wire. You also need a hammer for the stakes, two pairs of pliers, a wire cutter and a poly grip for the couplers and a spade. Start by placing out the charging station. Ideal placement for the charging station is in a shady spot on flat ground in the middle of the lawn and with some free space around it. Plan for approximately 3 meters free space in front of the charging station. Place the charging station on the ground but do not secure it firmly yet. Find a weather protected place for the power supply unit. Once the charging station is in place it's time to charge your robotic mower. Switch auto mower on and put it in the charging station and move on to the next step. Charging an empty battery takes approximately 80 to 100 minutes. The boundary wire is put along the edges of the lawn to define the cutting area so the robotic mower knows where to turn. We recommend that you mow the lawn before laying the wire to avoid that it is lifted by the grass. This will reduce the amount of stakes used. Start by securing one end of the boundary wire to the station. Leave 50 centimeters extra wire for the connection. Also, pre-plan the spot where you will connect the guide wire to the boundary wire and leave a 10 centimeter loop at this location when laying the boundary wire. This will make the connection much easier. As the mower always passes the wire before it stops, the wire must be laid at different distances depending on obstacles. To ensure the wire is placed at the right distance from the obstacle, use the included auto mower ruler. It has three printed distances, a short, a mid and a longer. Exact distances varies depending on model. In front of hard objects like fences and walls, you should use the longest distance. Otherwise, the mower will collide with the hard object at every turn. When it comes to flower beds and softer bushes, where there is no risk of collision, the mid distance is sufficient. If the distance is smaller, the mower may pass over the edge and get stuck. Using the longer distance, the mower will leave uncut grass close to the edge. Near paved paths on level with the lawn, we recommend using the shortest distance on the ruler. Auto mower will use a part of the path to turn, leaving no uncut grass. 
On gravel paths like this, there is a risk that the mower will get stuck. Therefore, use the mid distance. On hard surfaced paths like this, you can just let the mower pass over. The distances shown are to be seen as guidance. To optimize the mowing results, you can adjust the boundary wire once you've learned how auto mower cuts your lawn. Place the stakes on level lawn areas at a distance of about 70 centimeters. Make sure the wire is tightly attached to the ground to prevent the mower from getting stuck. If an uneven lawn makes the wire hang in the air, you will need to use extra stakes. Otherwise, there is a risk that the mower will cut the wire. Alternatively, you can also make a few centimeters deep slit in the lawn with a spade. This is recommended if your lawn is uneven or if you want to hide the wire. Please note that if you install the wire on the ground, it will be completely overgrown after a few months. If there are areas or obstacles on your lawn where you do not want your mower to enter, you will need to create islands with the boundary wire. Lay the wire from the border to and around the obstacle. The direction is very important. Do not cross the wire. You should view this as an extension of your boundary wire. If you're coming from right, start on the right side of the obstacle. When you close the circle, place the wires tight together on the way back. Then the signal is cancelled. The mower does not register a signal and passes by. If you cross the wires, the robotic mower will not recognize this as an island. It cannot pass and will stop. If you have several obstacles close to each other, you can do like this. As Husqvarna Auto Mower is designed to handle gentle bumps, obstacles like trees don't always need to be fenced by the boundary wire. However, make sure the tree doesn't have visible roots as they can damage the cutting blades. When you've finished the boundary wire and return to the charging station, leave 50 centimeters extra wire and cut. The purpose of the guide wire is to lead auto mower back to the charging station when needed and to help the mower find its way to different and more challenging parts of your lawn. Depending on model, you could use one up to three guide wires. The guide wire should start from the rear of the charging station and be placed centered under the base plate. Make sure you leave 50 centimeters of extra wire. In front of the charging station, you shall lay the wire at least two meters in a straight line. Use the stakes and continue with the wire until you reach the planned spot for connection to the boundary wire. If you have an open lawn, lay the guide wire beginning at the charging station and run it to a central point on the opposite side of the lawn. If you lay the guide wire on a slope, place the wire diagonally so that the mower will have optimal traction. If you planned for the connection spot when you placed the boundary wire, you'll have extra wire to connect the guide with the boundary wire. If not, you may need to extend the wire with another coupler. Cut the wires. Use a coupler. It has three holes. It doesn't matter in which hole you put the wires. And be sure all three wires are pushed into the bottom of the coupler. Then squeeze the coupler with pliers. The plug is filled with grease that makes it weatherproof. Secure the coupler by placing it under the grass, away from the mower. When connecting the wires like here or repairing a damaged wire, always use a weatherproof Husqvarna coupler. If you have a garden with a remote section, we recommend to use a guide wire to help to connect the guide wire here to help the mower find the area and ensure a faster way back to the charging station. If the passage is smaller than two meters, we strongly recommend doing this. In the passage, the minimum distance between the boundary wires is 60 centimeters. 
As the mower tries to avoid creating tracks in the lawn, it follows the guide in various distances. Auto mower robotic mower always drives to the left of the guide wire when returning to the charging station. Therefore, the guide wire should be placed closer to the right boundary wire, seen from this view. Now we are almost done with the installation. You just need to connect the wires. Route the cables through the openings. Take a measurement at the contacts on the charging station. Stick the wire into the plug. Fold over and squeeze with pliers. Cut off any surplus wire. This is important when connecting. The boundary wire coming from the left-hand side must be connected to the left connection and vice versa. Finally, connect the guide wires. Place the charging station on the ground and secure it with the supplied ground screws. Make sure no wires can get in contact with the mower. If installation has been done correctly, the LED light in the charging station will glow green and steady and the mower can start its work. Before starting the mower, remove all foreign objects from the lawn. Connect to Auto Mower Connect or Auto Mower Connect at home. This may take a little while. Start up and calibration. Do not stop. Complete by making additional settings depending on model, either on Auto Mower or in the app. Now you're ready to enjoy your perfectly cut lawn.